Oh, are we playing the Tortures of the Organ Trail? Yes. <laughs> oh. We're all going to die! Travel the trail, learn about the trails, see the organ top 10, uh, turn sound off, choose engagement options, and end. What is your choice? Um, um, let's... What is it? No, I just remember that. Just remember, this game is the game where everyone will die of dysentery. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. But Paul has just died of dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> also, warning you, Golden, you die very easily in this game. So, like, don't don't freak out or anything like that. It's not you. It's literally how the game is built. All right. So basically, I'm gonna have to like start from the beginning over and over and over again. You are playing the text version of Dark Souls. That is a good oh, thing. Oh, no. You cat yourself to death. Yeah. Yeah, you just don't need to have twitch reflexes in fighting, so don't worry about it. But, I don't know, you'll find out. Yeah. All right, then. By the way, by the way yeah. did you know that Star Kid made a musical based on this game? Yes. <laughs> no. And they had a whole song dedicated to whichever of the party members dies, and it just features them crapping themselves to death. Sounds That's about right. Try, take, yeah. Yeah, try taking a journey by co uh, covered wagon across 2,000 miles of plains, rivers, and mountains. Try. On the plains, will uh, you slosh your oxen through mud and water-filled ruts, or will you <clears throat> plop through the dust the six inches deep? <clears throat> uh, All right. Let's see. Let's see. How will you cross the rivers? If you uh, have money, you might take a ferry, um, if there is a ferry, or you can ford the river and hope you and your wagon aren't swallowed alive. Okay, then. What about supplies? Oh. Well, if you're low on food, you can hunt. You might uh, get a buffalo. You um, you might. And there are, bear there are bears in the map. What kind of grammar is this? There are bear in the mountains. Yeah, that's are... actually not completely incorrect because bear can also be plural by singular. Same oh. as moose. Or I do find this funny idea of there is just one singular bear in There's all of these mountains. <laughs> <laughs> there is one bear in the mountain. You might see him. Tell him low in his knees, Jim. Small. <laughs> and then shoot him in the face. <sighs> At the Dallas, him bread, he might give you a little wave. At the Dallas, you can try navigating the Columbia River, but if running the rapids with a makeshift raft makes you queasy, better take a Barlow Road. Okay. Okay. If for some reason you don't survive, your wagon burns, or thieves steal your oxen, or you run out of provisions, or you die of cholera. 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 Bless, Bless you. you. Yeah, Cholera we'll is another sickness that you got from mosquitoes. Yeah. Uh, it, wasn't it? Didn't it? All, wasn't it like tuberculosis and that like it would, you would like be drip bleeding from the mouth or something? Or yeah. it was a horrible way to die, and there was yeah. no cure at the time. Like, tuberculosis was worse, but this was still yeah. pretty bad. At Golden Fox Stream High. Yeah. Ew, Ew, what a gross old guy. He died. No, I, mean, I don't know if I like. I'm probably not even gonna bother watching the remake of Pinocchio. Nobody is. They'd rather yeah, watch the bother. Guillermo del Toro one. Yeah, because f fuck the Disney remakes, man. I'm not supporting I mean, the them. No, I mean, cuck the, the Disney, Disney remakes. remakes. They yeah, don't dude. deserve to have a night of fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was also a question further up, if you'd like me to ask it. Okay. If you, uh, sorry, ask Jasper. Uh, if you could have a crossover with Sam and Max, who would you want them to do it with? I have no idea. Uh... Pinkie Pie? What? I don't know. Jasper? Jasper? Gee, I didn't realize Golden went to his point certificate and crossed out Golden and changed it to Jasper 87 times! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Let me in. Golden scream, he gets to answer it also. Anyway, go ahead, Jasper. Oh. Well, to well I don't exactly know who I'd want an official crossover with, but I did write a crossover fic between them and Steven Universe. Ah, that, that would be, would be interesting. interesting. Max chewed on Peridot's head. 
Mm. <laughs> I mean, I remember when the I remember when Peridot came out and her na her name was Angry Dur Angry Green Dorito Gem. Someone yeah. edited the wiki to say that. <laughs> according according to Max, she tasted salty. Soccer team was responsible for the creation of this includes. All right. So also, uh, Golden. Yes. Uh, cholera is passed through um, bad food, basically, and if you are not clean uh, with your uh, fecal matter. Ew. Yeah. Ew. If you're basically, Golden, if you're unsanit, the reason you wash your hands all the time every day is because it was to prevent things like this specifically, because this is a high cholera is a hygiene uh, illness specifically. Yeah, right, and then. the thing is, it still breaks out every once in a while. Yeah. Right, then. Uh, At least it ain't MRSA. True. See Oregon top ten. <laughs> Steven, me, Colleen. Okay, it's just a scoreboard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how do I exit here? Would you like to see points earned? No. All right. <laughs> that was simple enough. Mm. Um, sound off. Choose management options. What do we have here? See the current top 10 list, top 10 list. Um, turn joystick on, calibrate joystick. Is a joystick even needed? You may want to calibrate joystick A for use with this program. Um, I don't have a joystick plugged in right now. So. Well, do you want this? Cal just say no. <laughs> All right. Well, this is going to be a shot in the dark. Here we go. Shot in the dark. Oh, wrong song. <laughs> I don't you have a safe game. Jason Perry. All right. So, many kinds of people made the trip to Oregon. You may be a banker from Boston, be a carpenter mm -hmm. from Ohio, be a farmer from Illinois. Find out the differences between these choices. Honestly, I would not go with the banker. He might have more money, but he has less use Experience. out in the wild. I can throw money at my diseases and they will go away. <laughs> but imagine throwing money at Jim the bear as he charges. <laughs> that, I don't think he'd throw money at it. He'd probably just use the money to buy a gun and shoot it. You can't buy a gun out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you bring it with you. Ah, that would be smart, though. <laughs> All right. That's what they did in real life, too. Ye. All right, so also, I, I think it would be better. Firmer also, or carpenter. Yes, Sorry, go ahead, Jessica. Also, I figured out what Cyber Max crossover I'd really want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A crossover game between them and the Monkey Island games. Ah, right, there you go. Ooh. So, yeah. uh, being a carpenter... I think that's for more of repairs. Mm -hmm. Like, if your wagon gets damaged, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Be a farmer from Illinois. Okay, that's that's mostly for food. But I think I'm starting to piece together the pros and cons. With a banker, yeah. you have a lot of money, but you don't have any experience of uh, fire, like protecting yourself. Being out in the wild. Being out in the wild. A carpenter, you're able to repair things, but what about growing food? Whereas being a farmer, you're able to grow food, but are you able to manage things with everything else? You probably can't... Re you probably can't repair anything, and you probably have, no and the carpenter and the farmer probably have next to no money. Or I'm willing to bet the farmer has the least amount of money. All right. So, what would be the best bet? Because I'm also thinking that there are probably some things that you'll. I haven't played this game, so this is shot in the dark. But like, Same. I am willing to bet there are probably some things that you'll probably have to buy. Like I imagine. There are probably certain medicines or certain materials that probably cannot be acquired naturally. Like, you can't just go out into the woods and forage for a metal pot in a place that doesn't have any settlements, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. All right. Um... But you can buy one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Let's see. Let's try Carpenter. What is the first name of the wagon's leader? Um, sure. All right, so there's four other members. Who wants to be included in this treacherous journey? Me. All right. Yeah, sure. Why not? All sure. right. All right. 
Can I be the dog? Uh, sure. All right. <laughs> I, guess, on. I guess that fills up. Uh, fills it up. Yeah. And. Mm. And a dog. <laughs> you know what? And a dog. And a dog. That sounds like a 90s, Ooh. like, hipper version of Panda. <laughs> there you go, yeah, Panda. Dog. <laughs> sounds yeah. like an international... Oh, wow. <laughs> international what, Joey? Sounds like an international version of Cat Dog. Panda Dog. Panda Dog. <laughs> and in the world is a little Panda Dog. Cat Dogs are just foxes. You cannot convince me otherwise. He was chilling in the square of Tiananmen. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this exists. Are these I mean, it's Panda. Uh, so, mm. all right. It's a panda. So, so it is 1848. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it is 1848. You're jumping off. Um, yeah, you're jumping off. Place for Oregon uh, is Independence, Missouri. You must decide which month to leave uh, Independence. Okay. Let's see. Six. Ask for advice. You attended a public meeting held for folks with the California Oregon fever. You're told, mm -hmm. if you leave too early, there won't be any grass for your oxen to eat. Uh, if you leave too late, you may not get to Oregon before winter comes. If you leave just at the right time, there will be green grass and weather uh, will still be cool. All right. So, May. Wait, let me look up. Because Missouri has a nasty problem of, if you look at it on a climate map, its climate is comparable to Russia. Oh, dear. That's in May. That's one sec. I'm just looking at what the average temperature in Missouri is per month. Hang on. Uh, yeah, in March it's only like 55 degrees. April, uh, low 46, high 66. Yeah, you don't want April. In May May is 56 to 76. Uh, June uh -huh. is 65 to 85, and July is 70 to 89. Yeah, no, definitely no to July. But. So you guys are still thinking May? I still think May because April you're going to be worried about flooding. Mm -hmm. And you have enough time in May to get through the summer and the fall before it's winter. All right. So, May. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $800 in your uh, in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. Fair enough. You can buy whatever you need uh, at Matt's General <laughs> Store. Hello, I'm Matt. So you're going to Oregon. I can fix you up with what you need. A team of oxen to pull your wagon. Clothing for both summer and winter. Well, I'm not going to... At this particular time, I... How long is it traveling? No, no, wait, remember. Remember, you're just deciding when you leave. You're not deciding... This is not the range for when it will take place. You're just deciding when you leave. So you're probably going to bump into winter at some point, And you're definitely going to hit summer first. All right. Yeah. Oh. Also, I love uh, for a little Goldieism. I love how you don't call it Oregon; you call it Oregon. Welcome to Oregon, the U.S. state of Oregon. As there is the Oregon? actual. I was gonna say there is the Oregon Trail, like the zombified version. Yeah. Welcome that's... to the capital. Welcome to the capital city of Spleen in Oregon. <laughs> I did, I, I, did stream, I did stream that one before, like, many years ago, and I did not last at all. <laughs> all right, so press spacebar to continue. So little do when the zombie apocalypse. Plenty of food for your trip, ammunition for your rifles, spare parts for your wagon. All right. Whenever it comes all to... All that is good stuff. Okay, so whenever it comes to anything, I I kind of just balance everything out at first, which is more or less a shot in the dark. So, let's see. Uh, which item would you like to buy? Okay. Um, I guess I should go for the oxen first. Alright, there are two oxen and a yoke. I recommend at least three yoke. Uh, I charge forty a yoke. Okay, so we're looking at a hundred twenty bucks at this point. Okay, so the, uh, he has two in stock, so that'd be eighty dollars. All right, food. All right. 
Right, I recommend you take at least 200 pounds of food for each person and your family. Uh, I see that you have five people in all. You will need uh, sugar, bacon, and coffee. My price is 20 cents a pound. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just taking this with a grain of salt here. Um, yes? 200 pounds is only enough for one of you. There's five of us, so five pounds oh, two. That's about... You need like a thousand pounds of food. All right. I would have made like, it. Like, never mind, you can hunt along the way, but there's no guarantee. Like, this is emergency supplies. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Nothing happened. Okay, so 280 so far. Uh, which item would you like? To oh, right. The clothing. Ammunition and spare parts also important. Oh, yeah, no, I'm yeah. going through one each and being very careful. Uh, you'll need to war uh, warm clothing. Um, yeah, you'll need warm clothing in the mountains. I recommend taking at least two sets of clothes per person. So each set is ten. So that's fifty bucks uh, right there. Agreed. It's actually Honestly, even f yeah for the time. The this was actually really decently priced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just from so, what I know of the time. All right. So two sets for close per person. So two times five is ten. All right. Ammunition. All right. Uh. Yeah. I sell ammunition in boxes of 20 bullets. Each box will cost you $2. All right. Hmm. Are you going to take a shot in the dark? Yeah. I saw the pun coming underway. <laughs> well done. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> So, Goldie, how much ammunition do you want? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, he's doing that. I'm going to install a few games on my Steam library for when I decide to stream stuff. Oh, nice, bro. You know, let's go for... Kingdom Hearts 3 earlier. Let's go for five. I mean, it doesn't look uh, too pricey right now, so... Besides, you can probably buy more later on. Yeah. All right, so we're three ninety spare parts. Yes, that's very mm. important. Okay, wagon, axle, tongue. How many okay. wagon wheels? Uh, I mean, you would need four on each side, obviously. Right, but these are spare parts, so like you already have four. This is in case one breaks. Okay, so I guess I could go for one. Wagon wheel. Uh, I would go with two just to be on the safe side, but yeah. All right, I'll go with that. And axles. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh. Sorry, before you did. Did you pick carpenter or farmer? I think or I pick. I think I picked carpenter. Okay, in that case. I've yeah, already. I would, I, I've already made yeah. the decision. I can't go back. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, wagon wheel. No, 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 no. Axle. Duh. I'm completely losing track of everything. One? I guess so. Tongues. How many are we going to need? Hmm. I don't even know what those are. Hold on. Give me a second. Tongs. Um, oh, it's wagon tongue. Oh, I thought you said tongs. Sorry. No, wagon tongue is, I believe it's the part that hitches the horses. Okay. Okay. Mm.